there's the original problem. So that's a trig identity we're going to use in this one. But we're asked to evaluate this indefinite integral. Uh, and using the, what, I've, what I've got for um, our midterm, uh, when we're able to have a formula sheet, these are the hints for trigonometric substitutions. So what we're going to do is we're going to use, uh, let's see, it's this one here because our variable that we're integrating with respect to x, in this case it's t, is coming first and then the subtraction signs after. So we want to use this substitution. a is 2. Um, let's see, we also want to know what's a dt, the derivative of t with respect to theta. So the derivative of secant theta is uh, 2 secant theta tangent theta. And now we can rewrite this in terms of theta. Now that we have t, well now we have a substitution for t and for dt. So this is 8. Uh, and then times our dt was 2 secant theta tangent theta. Now the denominator, that's the square root of, this is 2 secant theta squared minus 4. This is all with respect to theta. Oh, let's see. Uh, Okay, so now we can simplify the bottom. That's going to make life a little bit easier down there. Uh, 8 times 2 is going to make 16 up top. Uh, and then on the bottom, that's 4 secant squared theta. So we can factor out a 4. We still have 16 secant theta, tangent theta. And so uh, simplifying the constants, this is 16 divided by 4, so that's going to be, let's just factor out the 8 in the numerator because I don't think it's going to help us to have it in there in the first place. 16 divided by 2 gives us 8. And then we got secant theta, tangent theta. And then check out the bottom. This is secant squared theta minus 1. I wrote that uh, Pythagorean identity up here. And if you don't recognize that form, maybe you recognize it like this. Same thing, just rearranged a little bit. Okay, that's the same identity, just adding one to both sides. So with those Pythagorean identities, you can rewrite them a bit. Uh, okay, so that's tangent squared theta. So that's the square root of a square. Um, the square root and the square are going to cancel each other out. It's going to cancel out our tangents because it's tangent theta divided by tangent theta. So this is all we're integrating. So we need to know the antiderivative of secant theta, something so that we take its derivative and it gives us secant theta. The antiderivative of secant theta is sometimes asked to be memorized by students, but we could do what the what WebAssign is suggesting we do here. I think it shows up after you attempt the question. I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by, uh, multiply this secant theta by secant theta plus tangent theta in the top and in the bottom. So if we do that, we have secant theta, secant theta plus tangent theta over secant theta plus tangent theta. And remember, the temptation is to say, well, look, I got the same thing on the top and the bottom. Let's cancel that out and make it simpler. But uh, we're trying to expand to rewrite so that we can figure out what the antiderivative is going to be. So um, so now, let's see. Can we do u substitution? We've got u. If you let u equal the denominator, Check out what du is going to be. The derivative of secant, that's secant theta tangent theta. And then the derivative of tangent theta, that's uh, secant squared theta. So we actually have, if this is our u, then we have du up here. Because if you distribute secant theta times secant theta makes secant squared theta. Secant theta times tangent theta, that makes this here. So this whole integral becomes du in the numerator, u in the denominator. 
and that's just natural log, right? That's an antiderivative we know. u to the negative first power, the antiderivative is natural log, oops, absolute value of u plus some constant c. Uh, and then we can plug back in what we had for u. We had secant theta plus tangent theta. And then our original substitution, uh, I'd have to go back and check to make sure, We've, we had that tangent, uh, I'm sorry, we had that t equals 2 secant uh, theta, I believe. And so if we were to undo that, you know, to put things back in terms of the original variable, in terms of t, we'd have to divide 2 from both sides and then use the inverse. So we need to put things back in terms of t, so secant theta, that's t over 2. And now here, it's not quite as clean, uh, you can get theta by itself by using inverse secant or arc secant. So this is tangent of arc secant. Oh, and with all these, uh, this here and this here, I need that constant C on the outside. Uh, let's see, so what can we do with this? Um, so this part's tricky. <clears throat> There's some proofs out there that show you that tangent of arc secant of x is just the square root of x squared minus one. Uh, actually, let me double check. I, I'm going to I'm gonna derive this myself in just a second. You can skip that part of the video if you want, because you won't have to do anything that crazy on the midterm. But this right here is the square root of t over 2 squared minus 1 plus c. 